you're very welcome to the last ever daily rundown. Where's the sad, so the sad faces, the sad noises? Oh, I'm goodness. keeping it inside. Yeah. Uh, it's me, Fiona Fox, doing the last show ever, Daily Rundown, uh, here on Channel 7, the show where we look at all of the big days, uh, news stories, and some of the littler ones as well. And this is a very, very special show. Not only do I have these two wonderful gentlemen here with me, who I will introduce in one second, but we have all of the guests that we've ever had out in the green room contributing this evening as well. I'll say hello to them. Say hello, guests. Say hello, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. You can actually see my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's gone wrong with the shot here. I'll just <laughs> get out of the way. You see, yes, I'm here. Now that's again. It's fine. The comedy album, Mr. Yes. Stephen, e Stephen Armstrong is here joining us. And yes. joining him on the couch is Mr. Drew Tosh. Good evening, you gentlemen. You couldn't think of the name to describe me there, could you? No, I can't. I was going to say fantastic. <laughs> no, it would have been a show. complete lie. It's lovely to see both of you. And yes. you. Well, in, 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 sad, in sad, sort of sad scenes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we will be a period of national mourning, but we'll cope. You'll cope? Oh, yeah. What are you going to do with your evenings from now, Andrew? Well, I have a fish now. That keeps me busy. <laughs> you know? Stephen, you're a regular here. Uh, you well, you're in here. You're doing three times a week sometimes. Well, well that's it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday <laughs> or Wednesday, but I believe there's an opening for a Channel 4 uh, TV ah. show opening, presenting. <laughs> that's why I have my flashy shirt on. Uh, and I'm going to be starting this weekend by making malt loaf and uh, fairy cakes and ginger loaf and uh, upside down cake because it sounds like excellent excellent so Drew's, a, Drew's a great baker he's won prizes haven't he oh. <laughs> one prize and I came third it was pathetic really <laughs> if that's my only achievement things have gone horribly wrong uh, well lovely to see you both yes. um, as I said we have lots of people involved with this show uh, I wasn't lying about that earlier on but we'll sort that out I guess and you guys at home can be involved as well just tweet us at the daily rundown it's your last chance right let's go to our first news story a record number of people in the UK, some 14,570, are surviving to the age of 100, the latest official data shows. The number of people aged 100 or over has quadrupled over the last two decades. That's according to the Office for Na National Statistics figures for 2015. In the last decade alone, the number of centen centenarians has risen by 65%. Oh, I'm, like, I'm glad I get very, very good, Fiona. Mm. You, you manage that one. Near enough. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. The figures come as statisticians publish information on the life expectancy of the UK population. Now, the ONS said life expectancy had increased by 30%. 13 weeks a year since the 1980 to 1982 period for males and by 9.5 weeks a year on average for females. Ah, is this, is, is this great news or is this, um, do you want to live to be 100? Because you know, some people feel kind of funny about kind of hanging around that long. Do you like the way you were looking at me when you said <laughs> you want to live to be 100? Do you? I've got a bit to go yet. <laughs> Um, uh, well, uh, a, a bit. Like, you said, as you said, before we started, you said that this has been worrying you, and I think that's. I, I think it's because as you it's all coming out now for the last more, like, facing it, you, you, it becomes more and more serious for you. Well, so, the thing is, though, now it's an option. It seems now it's a realistic option. Like you know the way we'd always say bandy about expressions like if I lived to be a hundred, I'd never have done this or I'd never have believed this. <laughs> Uh, but now you're I talking about this show, it. are you? I'd never have believed the show would end. I'd never <laughs> believed, you know. But like, but, no, but seriously, yeah. um, people are living to 100 and more than that. So like, is this something you would like to achieve? Is this a big achievement? <sighs> it's amazing. I, the thing is, it depends. If you've got your health, then fantastic. But the chances are these people that are 100 are probably, you know, on a sort of a drip somewhere, just being shoved around and not really have much of a quality of life. And I'm not quite sure that's how I'd want to be remembered. <laughs> but and also in a way, if all you if you outlive all your friends and your family, that's a bit. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be the last one. I'm not saying I want to pop off, you know, before the break. But I don't think I don't want to be the last one left. Well, this is the thing, though. I mean, if they're saying that, like, it's it, there's there's it's quadrupled um, in its numbers anyway though mm. so you probably would have a few pals still hanging around you this is the thing that you're looking you, at now I suppose it's, it's so difficult because you kind of weigh up against the fact that now they're obviously advertising there's the next stand up for cancer event and it's like now one in two people contract cancer so you're thinking I'm not quite sure I believe these statistics to be honest unless it's some place like China where they just live on rice and you know Saki and just don't have any life at all, so they live just out of boredom until they're 100. And they swear well, kind of early to bed, early to rise, all those kind of. Um, yeah, conditions. I mean, if you've but got your health people great. Say. But um, I was actually watching a show the other day, um, I think it was Channel 4, you actually uh, mm -hmm. already mentioned them, and it was about uh, modern life for somebody. Did, you, did any of you manage to catch it? It was like, oh, modern gran grannies or something like this. And they kind of put them into modern situations, like sending them on a little trip to Amsterdam, for example, and you know, going in for coffee and that mm. type of thing. Um, 
but it's only when you kind of speak to someone that you realize how much they've been through. Somebody who's kind of 85, you know, 90, 95, they've lived through serious changes. Like, do you think that, that that's, that would be something you'd like to see? Like, just literally the world's just completely turned from one thing into another. That must be quite difficult to cope with. Well, I mean, I'm, I mean, I, I turn 40 at the end of this year and I, I'm, I'm of the age where I'm of a pre-mobile phones, pre-Twitter, pre-Facebook. So I think that it, we're only going to start getting more and more changes. Um, we, we've got more and more medical advances now, so people aren't dying from, from diseases that they were dying from previously. I, I, I guess we are helping people live longer, but like you say, is what's too long? And, and, and as you say, Drew, you, you, you think there's a certain stage at which you think, when does living become just simply being alive mm. you know where does that stop and I, I i too i don't think i'd want to be kept alive on a drip i'd i'd rather be i don't know do you want to hang around until the next kate bush album but after that you know <laughs> well see now i'm not i'd see now I, i'm not even that bothered oh uh, no, no, well, no. I'll hang on until then but no well i don't know it would depend if it's going to be like at the rate that she's releasing them with currently then yeah i'm okay we'll be nearly 100 yeah well that's what i was going to say yeah if you're going to pop another quick one out i'm not too sure but yeah yeah, yeah. because the nhs can't cope with the the well, this is my increasing next age of us obviously that we live too. we can't they can't cope with the demand for that constant kind of you know obviously you're, you're you, your health is going to be sort of you know diminishing and so you are going to kind of be on the NHS being going to see doctors more often yeah, and pensions um, can't cover it either and your pension so obviously we're going to see an age an older retirement age mm. that's 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 inevitable I guess down the line as well but on the flip side we're so flipping healthy now aren't we I feel like <coughs> kale this is kale <laughs> <laughs> well yeah this is this is kale uh, that can take the credit for this kale everything kale just, smoothies just kale, it, it just quinoa Kale and yeah. words. Yeah. Hash, hashtag green smoothies. Really? Yeah. This is probably why we're all living to 100 or we're all likely to live to 100. Wheatgrass. Wheatgrass shots. If that's all you've got to look forward exactly. to, I think they'd rather just throw me hitting over the head and flung <laughs> me in a skip when I was 80. <laughs> yeah. sure. We're in Ankos, we could probably erase it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the the other thing I think though is when you, you know if you actually do speak to somebody who's you know lived to a ripe old age, mm. they a lot of the time they'll always say, No, I just did, I just did everything in moderation, you know, smoke 20 cigarettes. I mean, I don't think that's moderation, but I guess if you're 100 and mm. there was a time where people were smoking 65 a day probably is yeah um but you know they, they'll have the little nip of whiskey in the evening and they, and they won't have kind of you know lived these streamlined like healthy fitness kind of lives that we're trying to live now or yeah that's I mean, according to instagram i think the, the day i start every sentence with how old i am that's when i think you can take me out and shoot me because uh, when i start with I'm 92, you know, and I still got all my memory. Can I have a loaf of bread, love? Like, if I have to prefix everything I say with telling people how old I am and exactly how many of my own body parts you I You started still your previous chat with, I'm nearly 40, you know. So yeah, yeah, no, no. You well, brought, brought it up yeah. last week as well. No, no, no. Well, see, now, as long as I'm just saying when I'm gonna nearly, when I'm nearly, like, I'm just telling you when I'm nearly. That's more like, that's more kind of like sort of embedding it in your mind. It's, it's uh, not gonna, you're not going to start just kind of peppering every conversation, though, with that anyway. No, no. No. So, but that's that's once you get to that point, that's yeah, uh, that's yeah. where you want to just pull that's, it up. Yeah, that'd be it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I did mention that we have uh, a few other guests out in the green room. Oh, there they are. We're going to pass over to the lovely Adam Earl, and he's going to see what the rest of our guests think about this. Live to the ripe old age of a hundred. Hello and welcome to the office. The, that's Manchester office. I'm here, and we are here with the rest of the guests that are going to be on the today's tonight's daily rundown. Let's go and interview them. Over here, Stephen. Hey, hiya. Hiya. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, I'm on, okay. on the low pink I'm sofa. Okay. Yeah, good, yeah, good, 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 good. Um, and we've got David. Okay. Familiar face. Familiar, yeah. familiar face. Are we on the, the last joust. The last joust. The last joust. Yeah. Let's just go over this side. We've got, we've got Loz, <laughs> and we've got Maddie, and we've got Ian. How are we all doing? Hey. We all good? Fantastic. Good. Fantastic. All right, good. Fantastic. Up for it, up for it. Good, good, good. Right. How do you all feel about living to the age of 100? I would love to do that. I really want to do that. I want to live forever, but 100 sounds good as well. 100, 100. David? I'd love to. 120 would be better, but I doubt I'll make it to, to 70, you know? Oh, dear. Stephen? Ask me when I get there. Oh, I like it. Ian, what do you think? Living to 100? I want to do it, but I'm a little worried. I took a, an online poll, one of those online quizzes today, which said, we, we can guess your age by your general knowledge. According to my general knowledge, I'm 66 already. <laughs> oh, wow. So how are we feeling about the Tonight Show? Are you excited to yeah. be on? Excellent. Yeah. Who's... who's 
Who's on next? Who's on next? I think we're. I think we we're. We're. We're going to be onto the bonquet of news in just in short. In shortly, just with some nice news. I think we're going to be doing nice story, fun stuff. Nice. Spreading the love for uh -huh. once. I think. Spreading the love. Spreading love. We love spreading love. Let's just uh, put a shot down here. There's the boss. There's Abby. We can't leave her out. Look at that. Looking great. How are we doing? Grand, thank you. How are you? Oh, I am. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. So there we go. We're going to keep coming back to me for the rest of the show tonight. So we're uh, for the time being, we're going to come back to you, Fiona. See you soon. <laughs> thank you, Adam. Thanks everybody out in the green room. It's the first time we've kind of really done something like this on uh, the day. Drew, stop messing. <laughs> it's that green. It's going to freak me out a little bit. We won't offer you a drink again the next Too late. time. Too late. Like that. No more, no more chai tea yeah. for you. And um, green, green kale slushies. Green kale slushies. Oh, is that that's the way we're going? Um. So yeah. So we've got them all out there covering stuff out mm. in the green room. We're going to be bobbing back and forth between those during the show. It means you two guys, you guys get to go. Break. Yeah. You get to go and see the wonderful sights of the outside of the, the studio. The outside of the studio. As everybody's getting to experience this evening, which is quite yes. cool. Because it's, yeah, like it's been <laughs> a bustling <laughs> office. The, the yeah. hard work that, that kind of, you know, goes into the daily rundown. and people kind of rushed off their feet. Hey, show me a sofa and I will sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple out there. Oh, um, right, that's it. We're living to be 100. We're all, yes. I mean, it's an aim though, right? We're all, we're all aiming for it. Uh, well, yes. As long as we're in good health. As long as we're in good health, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all your own teeth. I, well, I would, I, I don't know. By then I might have started collecting other people's teeth. I don't know. On that note, let's go to our first break. <laughs> Before Stephen Armstrong brings us to the weird and wacky. Uh, we're going to go for our first break of the last ever Daily Rundown. Don't go anywhere. We have lots more news and fun stuff coming up after the break. See you in three. <laughs>